You wanted to talk to me, T7? None of this would have been possible without all the work you did to uncover the truth. I could say the same about you, T7. That's why we're such a good team. Don't worry, little buddy. Wherever I go, you'll be at my side. It's good to know my legacy will live on after I'm gone. It shouldn't be this hard to find a terrible disease I can cure. Ugh, all the good ones are taken. All that's left are embarrassing things like both and nether rot or diseases that'll take decades to treat. I don't have that kind of time. Do I want to know what both and nether rot is? The diagnosis is too gruesome for delicate ears. Forget I mentioned it. This won't keep me down. I'll cure an important disease even if I have to create it myself. Say, that's not a bad idea. The galaxy doesn't need any new diseases, Doc. What's the harm? I'd cure it right away. I'm glad you stopped by, but old Doc has thinking to do. You should go meditate. Clean your lightsaber and whatever. It has been enlightening to spend so much time among you and your Jedi. For 300 years, I have spoken to no one but Sith, and they do not change. They are the same on Korriban now as in my childhood. The same tricks, the same fights, the same groveling and mind control. Was that almost a compliment? I am only surprised that I have learned the most of the Force from a Jedi. Revan taught me to be effective when I became the Emperor's Wrath. And now I have learned as much from you. You have opened my eyes as well. And here I thought you weren't listening. Finally tracked down my old squad mates, Master Jedi. Wishing I hadn't. General Garza recruited them into the Special Forces Black Ops program. But now, they're in a detention facility on Birun, Convicted of war crimes. War crimes are a serious charge. How did your old squad go from being heroes to convicted criminals? Black Ops doesn't make heroes. It trains killers. If the right targets die, no one complains. They renamed my old squad the Surgeons, tasked them with destabilizing the Empire's command structure by removing its best leaders. But the Surgeons didn't just target Imperial commanders. They went after the officers' families. They wanted to send the enemy a message. Killing women and children is never acceptable. Good soldiers know what acceptable targets are. This wouldn't have happened on my watch. The detention center's warden says my old squad mates are serving life sentences. They're young. That's a lot of years to spend in cages. The next time I get nostalgic and curious, Master Jedi, give me a planet to invade. Just got an interesting hollow message. Childhood friend of mine. Think you'll want to see it. He's gone. Everyone knows that. But his voice, still in my head, can't sleep. Nothing makes sense. The Emperor is dead. Why is he still talking? You silenced him, Kira. Show me how. Please. Name's Shuri. Trained with her on Korriban before I left. She's a child of the Emperor. Is there a chance the Emperor survived? Is he trying to contact his slaves? Don't look at me. I'm just the messenger. Shuri's gone rogue from the Empire, holed up at one of our favorite vacation spots, Voss. And whether or not we can help her, we sure don't need another crazy Sith wandering Voss. We'll set course for Voss immediately. I have Shuri's coordinates. We'll confront her together and figure this out.
Stay back. Stop talking. You're not real. None of you. Calm down. We're plenty real. You! No. There's no hope. He won't be silent. He puts words in me. Come with us. We can teach you how to defy his will. The Emperor's gone, Shuri. He can't control you. He wants me to flee? Uh, no. Uh, attack. Set fire to Ord Mantel. Uh, wait, that's wrong. Freeze the oceans of Manan. Changing commands. Which are lies. What is truth? Can't live like this. Help me. Kill me. Death isn't the answer. We'll find another way. No other path. Death brings silence. Enough. Leave us, Jedi. She is our sister. We will make her whole again. Tell me who you are and I'll consider it. Don't. I remember Tanak. He's vermin. We are children of the Emperor, like her. We understand what it means to be severed from him. With our assistance, she will regain control. Without it, she'll die. There's nothing you can do. Nice story. Got a better one. We take her to Tython and she gets real help. We can free Suri from the Emperor's will. Loyalty to the Emperor is forever. And she does not want to be free. Tell the Jedi how you summoned me. You begged for my help. I... Yes. He'll rearrange the words. They won't hurt anymore. I'll be silent. What's the plan? Let her go with them? Or fight it out? Blast, I hate this. My gut says let her go. A wise choice. Come along, Shuri. Things would have gone bad if we'd pushed them. This way, we get another chance to bring Shuri around. I wish the Jedi Council could see you right now. They will. I recorded the whole thing. People need to know the children of the Emperor are still a problem. Voss gives me the creeps. Let's get off this rock. Been thinking about that bad party we went to on Voss. Raises a lot of questions. If Tanak was being honest, the children of the Emperor are still hearing his voice. That bother you? Tanak could have been lying. There's no point worrying until we know more. Sure he's not answering the Hollow. Big surprise. Plenty of Force users keep jabbering long after they're dead. Emperor might be one of them. We still haven't learned how the Emperor was able to control people. This could simply be a byproduct of that. Just wish we knew for sure. Keep waiting for that other boot to drop. One bright spot to this? I'm not hearing strange voices. The Emperor and me? Definitely over.